Hello guys, welcome back on my name is Kim himself and I'm a superstar host. Yeah, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day. I hope you just all enjoy yourself. Okay, uh, it's been a while I've talked about Mubad. I decided that let's just go through Mubad. Okay, Mubad, you know when Mubad died, that was two weeks ago on a Tuesday, September 12th. That was when he died. Yes, he died in a very mysterious circumstance. Well, let me say very mysterious circumstances that, that has really left a lot of people bewildered and and let me just come out straight with this since i've been on earth or like i've been on earth i have never seen a celebrity whose death like really has been shaking the entire world like this especially the uh, african part that's nigeria like ah, ah. even abroad even abroad like people are just like more bad more bad more bad and it's Ah, it's very, very unfortunate that this wonderful man had to die. Ah, my pay me. But now, don't forget that uh, sometimes ago, uh, Nayamali, sorry, I said Nayamali, uh, the wife of Mubad has been called up by Kemi Lenoy, your live investigative journalist, that she should prove that the son, that's the light, Liam, uh, was the son of the late Mubad. Or that she should do DNA. Uh, don't forget that the wife of Mubad, or let me say proposed girlfriend, said that uh, she was going to sue Kemelino. Kemelino said, hey, Ben Boy, you were assuming her. Why would you sue me? And if you want to sue me, do DNA first. And now I, just, I saw a video today when uh, the CEO of African Television yeah, said that he is going to even sponsor the DNA himself and that he's going to give the woman, I mean, Mubad's baby mama, uh, it's going to give her. 10 million era if the idea that comes out that Mobad is the father of the child. Wow, <laughs> is that a very good challenge? But the one that I bring this afternoon, like that I brought brother, it's quite a very fascinating and interesting one. <laughs> oh my god, it's quite funny. So I just had to laugh. Mobad's killer wants me dead. Nayamali cries out. Like <laughs> Nayamali, I don't understand. Now do you know? I think the attention is now shifting little by little from Nayamali. Yeah, people still have him in mind. Don't forget that. A lot of people have unfollowed him, which I've done myself personally. But at the same time, it's now looking as if the attention is being shifted from Nayamali now. Little by little to uh, Sam Larry and the child of uh, Mubada, the proposed girlfriend of Mubad. As is virtually popularly known as Nayamali, Nigerian artist, and you know the Malian music record label has expressed anxiety about the safety as he prepares to travel to Nigeria to clear his name in the killing of Senga Mobad. According to Nairamali, he is eager to work with the police to help with continue investigation into the inexplicable death of his former PP, Nidiru Luwala Dimiji Aloba, also known as Mobad. Okay, his mom calls him promise. He maintains, however, that the true perpetrator of Mubad's death is attempting to interview him and have, and have him lynched. Wow. He admitted that while he had his agreement with Mubad while signed to Malia Music, they never escalated to the escalated to the point where he wanted him dead. Okay. If you say that, but what of Sam Larry that has been disgracing and embarrassing the poor soul around? Sam Larry, are you? Oh, more. Why don't we really talk down on Shana? One comment, I will read this comment. Uh, uh, wrote. I know some Larry a year of that just come to Nigeria first or show yourself. Okay, so Naramali said he would narrate his version of events to the police once he returns to the country, adding that rumor that his music label is a drug cartel is untrue. Hmm. The singer made his known through an official statement released on Tuesday. Okay, the statement is really does. In the last few days, there has been a lot of onslaught in my personal reputation globally over the death of my former signee. All manner of stories has been woven against me in respect of his untimely death. I have not only been in shock over the death of the deceased, whom I considered to be my brother and member of our music family, but over the various lies spread and threats against me. Before I progress further, let me say that as it is traumatic for a lot of people to bear the reality of a lady's death, so it is to me. May his gentle soul continue to rest in peace and may God grant his family the fortitude to bear the irreparable loss. Permit me to categorically state that I have more than the death of the world. Either directly or indirectly, it is not unusual in the game industry, just like in several other industries, to have family friction even amongst blood relatives. Truly, we had our own share of misunderstandings while working together, but the disagreement between us was never to the extent being painted by some highlands. 
it never degenerated to the extent of wishing each other the death. Even at that, we're resolving our business dispute legally before he had passed. Hmm. Okay, when a man, if you say you are resolving business dispute, don't forget that you are still collecting some of the royalties of this late guy. Okay, let me continue with what he said. He said, I have chosen not to say anything since due to being distraught over his death and in order not to jeopardize the investigation being carried out by the government of the agencies. In addition, I have been out of the country since the 31st of August 2023. And I'm here to return. In light of the police invitation, I'm making an amendment to return to the country to assist the investigation and give my version of the event. I'm fully cooperating with the police team and I certainly have no reason to be a fugitive when I have no hand in his death. <laughs> okay. He said, I am certain that the culprit behind his death and uh, has a vendetta against me and I've fallen public opinion to have an for reasons known to them. In due time, the circumstances surrounding Mubaz's death will be unveiled and the world will know the truth. This kind of scenario of attempting to set someone up is not novel in the industry as other great musicians have experienced the same and came out better and stronger. Man will not be an exception as an innocent of the accusations. Mubad left the labor in September 2022. The labor accepted his departure. Malia Music did not stop and interfere with his career releases sign since and he has been with 1RPM. Legal effort were made to reconcile his concerns regarding the blah blah blah. Talk to Matajari. Say his lawyers are already in touch with the police and government agencies and are supporting every way necessary. I share my deepest condolences to the family. I'm possible that at the end of the day, the truth will prevent and shall be exonerated. Without a doubt, I will know his memory and promise to do right by him and his to by his family. Uh, but Naraman, they come Nigeria first. Let's see, let's talk about something. <laughs> that is what people are going to say. Hmm. So Say Mobas killer wants me dead. So this is coming from Nana Mali. <laughs> this is quite funny. Okay, so uh let's what's our take? For me, I'm still like on the matter, like like let's know what is happening. Let's really know what's happening. Like, are you are you really like even concerning the woman, the wife of the alleged uh, proposed girlfriend of or baby mama of, of Mobad? He's mm. not a little man. You will have to move on. Just come on. I told you, you move on. Gentle man, you know. But I put some not in you. Yeah, I started to walk out. I started to lose my voice. Oh yeah. So I just decided to just, you know, just you guys about this and uh, do a content about this and you know you enjoying this very well. And uh, it's so funny actually. It's so funny. But we, I wouldn't want to say it's so funny because we don't really know. With you. But yeah, I got the news that um, okay. Let me just see what he said. Yeah, I will resurrect Mobad if I'm allowed to see his dead body. Prophet vows. Ah, ah, we shall. But, eh? so when Jesus has given us a lot of uh, grace, like uh, you know, when you are spread filled to the prayer and then by the leading of God, you can actually. Well, I believe that. But for where well, Oba, eh, <laughs> the name is the one. I'm so sorry for saying this. It's quite funny. Uh, when I saw Oba, it reminded me of Oba Solomon when he was saying that Mobad came to wake him up. That Mobad has been disturbing him in a sleep. Lad. That was like quite some days ago. He said Mobad kicked him. Like it wasn't just a, a normal tapo. Like <laughs> he said it in Yoruba. He was saying that people that kill Mobad should actually confess so, that he will that he, he will cause Mobad to be and I said, like, what is really wrong with this guy? Should you chase clouds like with people's sorrow mode? And you know when people are sorrowful and then and then sometimes you just be like, wow, like wow, this is outrageous. Now, Oba, maybe a wulo me or a wulo, a wulo me, I don't know. In a Nigerian prophet has vowed to resurrect the later for beat singer Mubadu died exactly 12 days ago, yeah. Oh, well, that was uh, 13 years ago. Yeah, that was yesterday. Uh, it became 12 years, 12 days ago last night, uh, yesterday. So it's 13 days ago now. This follows the autopsy of the singer's body, and after it was exhumed and put in the morgue by police morgue and the mortuary. In a video that has since stirred emotions from fans of the late singer, Prophet Ulumi sought to wake Mobad if he's given access to his body. Shouldn't we just try that? How many to just happen? It will be cool, man. Mobad can still live again, whether you are a believer or not. Let me see his body. Give me access to his body. With the power of God, I can wake him. He said in part, he pressed on to state that the late singer's death was a homicide done by an insider 
Why name him Oba's father as a suspect? Ah, wow. He added that the other suspect include the late singer's friend, the nurse, and the third party at the hospital where he was taken. Ah, come on. Do you, like, someone said something that, I also saw a news that said that uh, the reason why Mubaz, Mubaz's neck was bent and the coffin was because the person I wanted to, the pastor that wanted to pray for him bent his neck and I was like, what is happening? Even like a lot of emotions have been stirred up concerning the fact that uh, the blood was discovered in his grave, like in his coffin, when it was exhumed, blood, like blood was flowing and people, for a lot of medical um medical personnels are trying to give ah. menus to that while some said it's not medically uh proven but it's very okay let me just run through the comments and then we we're done for the day for this someone wrote please take him there let him have access to his body please yeah so if he's going to do that if god is really leading it, then let's just do that someone wrote sure you will see more but only if we're going to send you to go and meet him so I would make them take him to where MOHD and if you know we we'll commit and give him 100 years in prison. That's my final job. Wow, that's crazy. Someone wrote, wonder shall never end. What God cannot do does make it. Give him a chance before giving him the trial. All right. Just two to go. There are two more stuff to go. Okay. I really love this. This person wrote, and if he comes back to life, truly, you can relate with normally as before I was alive. I'll make I know my mind of first. We have we not to like only little things for this average. I can go go lay. You all just pick up the phone and start recording. This is your director. There is nothing God can do, Shabba. Then, let's take an Hollywood show from reality. Someone wrote, just promise or say if you know we'll come, make we bury you with them. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Bro. 